Hey fans, it's me Aaron for Comic Show, and it's a nice big week this week. It's uh, almost sweeps week for comic shops. Free Comic Book Day is coming up. It's the first Saturday of May, May 7th. Uh, all the publishers are trying to get out all, all their coolest shit before then, and I'm excited. And here's the thing that I'm most excited about. It might be weird to you, but this is just like, you know, I'm a comic marketer, I'm a comic seller, and I enjoy the shit out of uh, Image Comics. They're my favorite publisher. Well, Image came out with this Image Plus magazine, all right? It, it's a big magazine, kind of like uh, Wizard, perhaps. It's $1.99 or free with previews. And it's not just preview solicitation. Like, that's what's in previews. This is actual, like, articles about the creators. Like, um, it's Marjorie Liu. There's preview pages, like multiple pages of new books. And books that aren't even in this preview. Books that are coming farther down the road. And... Um, Yes, it's really neat. Yes, I'm really excited about it. This is what I want. I love this. But why should you care as a fan that um, could find some of this stuff online or think similar to this online, maybe? I don't know. I mean, there's something to me about like reading a magazine about comics on the toilet because I love reading on the toilet. And just my laptop on the toilet, is just it's not fun. It's just not fun. I'm worried about it being damaged. It's getting hot in my thighs. You know, all that stuff. And then where do you put it while you're wiping? You just put it on the floor? What if you step on it? I don't know. But here's the thing. Walking Dead is in here. A exclusive Walking Dead. It's Negan's origin by Kirkman and Allred. Here's the first page. It's the origin of Lucille. The origin, he's literally, the first panel, he's wrapping the barbed wire on the freaking bat. All right? So you get four pages of original content every month by Kirkman and it's only here and it's the origin of Negan because I don't know if you could tell this but Walking Dead has never done a flashback uh, in the proper series whenever they've done origin stories it's been outside of the series and uh, for the first several issues of this Image Plus you're going to get Walking Dead original content for two dollars and a whole lot of other cool stuff so awesome get it seriously seriously get it I mean for reals um, moving on Black Magic Volume one is Rucka and uh, Nicholas Scott. It's a $10 volume one. And um, it's, to me, it's like a Witchblade done right, which, you know, if, if you hate Witchblade, I probably shouldn't pitch it that way. But what it is is um, a detective who happens to be perhaps a witch, if that's not a derogatory term. I don't know. It's 2016. It probably is. But she's into black magic, and she can do stuff with that and she has things going on that have to do with her being into black magic and she's a detective solving cases that suddenly she's involved in it's very smart it's it's creepy it's a horror it's a true detective story mashed up with horror and it's wonderful the art's great the coloring is all sepia tones it's it's awesome check it out if that does anything for you seriously get it you already know you like Rucka, so whatever. And uh, another sex criminals. Um, yeah, man, let's see what this uh, not safe for work cover is. Why not? Let's see what it is. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Eh, no, that's pretty tame. I mean, well, not the back cover. I'm not going to show the back cover. The back cover is, um, the back cover is seriously, I can't show that. All right. <laughs> I'm not even making that up. Seriously. Like it's, 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 wow. Um, four kids walk into a bank. This is Black Mask. It's, um, this book is impressive. I freaking love this book. It opens with these four kids and, um, well, actually it doesn't open with four kids. It opens with um, a dragon and uh, an orc and a knight and stuff. And, and you're like, what, 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 what does this have to do with four kids walking to the bank? And it does. They're nerdy kids and they're doing like D&D &D stuff and then crazy stuff happens that gets them involved in some shady stuff that may or may not involve a bank robbery. And it was awesome. It was very well done. Uh, if you're into indie stuff, you need this. It's a crime caper in five parts. Four kids walk into a bank. It's already pre-sold out from Diamond. So, I mean, I have plenty because I ordered well, but seriously, check it out. Uh, Rick and Morty, volume two. Lots of good franchise stuff this week. Volume two, we've been waiting for it. It's here. The Micronauts, I don't know if, if you're as old as me, which I'm turning, turning 40 this year, you played with Micronauts, you know, like Micronauts and G.I. Joes and Transformers. Micronauts kind of fell off. The, the franchise kind of fell off with that, and IDW have the rights to it now. They're going to do this. They're doing um, Ron the Space Knight, and I, I like it. It was a series for Marvel as well, and this has the characters that are the toy characters, not the ones Marvel created. But you can tell that the creators for this really love it. IDW picked the right creators, and it's a labor of love. I enjoyed it. 
um, over the garden wall. I don't know if you guys watch this on Cartoon Network. It's award-winning cartoon. It's on Hulu for Hulu Plus now. Like you can just watch it streaming. And there's a comic. Get the comic. It's it's awesome. Darkwing Duck. Let's get dangerous. Um, yes. If you got the Darkwing Duck comic before, there's an omnibus. This comes right out of that. It's the same creative team, and it literally comes right out of that omnibus. So get it. If you want to read it independent, you can. Sure. It's it's a new story, but. Darkwing Duck done very well. And finally, Aliens Day, Aliens Defiance number one, Brian Wood. Brian Wood does dirty sci-fi well. He does dirty adult sci-fi. This is that, this is cool. Brian Wood is the man and this is a great book. So if you're an Aliens fan, get it, seriously. Moving on to DC, DK3, the Master Race book four is finally out and it is balls out crazy. It is nuts. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this book. Way more than I thought I would. And there's a Batgirl mini inside. And um, I'm not gonna spoil anything about it because crazy stuff happens and I really enjoy it. it. It sucks, it's late, but sometimes that happens. Batman 51, Snyder, Capullo, putting things back, showing us, maybe putting Batman back to a new status quo. Um, they made their changes. They're, fixing some things and giving it to the next creative team, but this is a goodbye. This is a um, kind of an epilogue, and it was, it was a beautiful story, a really touching moments with uh, Bruce and, and Alfred. Um, Justice League 49, I guess it's gonna be done with 50. This issue had all kinds of nutty stuff happen, and I am excited for the end, and I'm super excited for Jeff John's Rebirth special for May 25th. Can't wait to get that in my hands. Can't wait to see Ted Cord back. And uh, finally, Harley 27, featuring Red Tool. Red Tool is obviously a ripoff of Deadpool. They, they say this, like, I, I don't know if you follow um, Jimmy on Facebook, but he literally says, since we can't do a crossover with Deadpool with Marvel, because they won't do it, DC won't allow it, whatever, I'm gonna do this. So he makes Red, Red Tool, and um, you get your Deadpool crossover with Harley, sort of, kinda. You get a lot of funny stuff, though. I really hope that um, Red Tool sticks around long enough to meet up with Deathstroke, and Deathstroke's like, what the hell, man? But anyway, moving on to Marvel. It's, it's Doctor Strange week. It really is. You got the Last Days of Magic one-shot, which has a couple different writers, a couple different stories, Jason Aaron in the main one, and this issue leads directly into issue seven of Doctor Strange. Like, the last page of this says, well, now that you saw that crazy-ass cliffhanger, you don't have to wait any time, just get this. And this is awesome. This is the um, basically part one, part two, get it. It's all here. And what if you haven't been getting Doctor Strange and you're like, man, I really wish I would have jumped on that earlier. Well, guess what? The hardcover's out this week too, volume one. So if you've watched enough of the teasers and looked at all that weird stuff of, um, you know, Doctor Strange doing that little jump prance and you saw him at the comic book store buying Omen or Oath, which we also have. Get it. Get it all. Get it all now. It's awesome. And uh, Daredevil finally, Electra. The Electric Connection Part 1 starts now, not the Electric Company. And uh, full on Electra. Seriously, this is what I've been wanting. And just to make it an even bigger week, uh, our, our pull for subscribers was insane this morning. Oh my God. That was murder. I actually had to work. It was terrible. Um, but Star Wars is out too. So huge week, lots of books I'm not even mentioning. So much stuff. It's insane. Um, go to your comic book store this week. Clean out your file before free comic book day because uh, there's a lot of great books in there right now. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.